Today we have an electric vehicle charger by EVgoer. All right guys, so I have something interesting that we're gonna do with this. Hang tight. First, let's go ahead and crack this thing open and take a look. So this is meant to be a portable electric vehicle charger. Comes in a nice case, actually. These things are heavy. Oh, wow. My goodness, that is a thick cable. <laughs> so this one's supposed to be able to work with a 220 and 110. Let's see, oh, is this an adapter? Yeah. So there's your 110 plug, and then there's an adapter to the 220. Wow, that is some heavy duty cable. So it has a display. And I think this button is how you change the the amperage and then there's a timer button and then there's the actual charging wand. I don't know a whole lot about these. I think this is some kind of standard charging plug. Uh, we're going to end up using this on a Tesla. So I think we have to have an adapter which I think the person that has the Tesla has the adapter as well. And it can charge at 12 amps, 16 amps, 24 amps, 32 amps, and 40 amps. Uh, 110 volts can only use uh, the 12 and 16 amp setting. If you want to go up to the higher power settings, you have to use the 220 volt. All right, guys. So now we're going to do something interesting with this EV charger. We're going to use this 3.5 kilowatt SunFun Kits battery with this Victron charge controller and this Ampeak inverter hooked up to this solar panel to charge this Tesla. So I hooked that charger up to this Ampeak inverter and it gave an error. It said it was a ground error. So basically what it is is most inverters don't have a neutral bond so what I'm going to have to do is on this last socket right here, I'm just going to create a neutral bond on it and it should work. I'll just solder the neutral to the, the ground. Okay. So all I did was I clipped off the original ground and then jumpered it to the neutral. Uh, I wasn't sure about leaving the original ground in because I'm not sure you can actually bond the neutral to the ground of the inverter. There may be some difference of potential there, so I need to measure that before I would go ahead and do that, but for now this is what we're going to use and it should work. Alright guys, so we got it working. I don't know if you can see that screen. There it is. It's kind of flashing a little bit there, but I'll show you what it said before because I can plug it into the other port that doesn't have the neutral bonding. Let's move it over one. There we go. There it is. It says error ungrounded. If you can see that's kind of rolling. So let's plug it back into the neutral bonded port. All right. And we're back in business. All right, so I've got it set to 12 amps. I don't know if you can see this. I'm sorry it's rolling like that. But you can change the amperage right here. On the 110 plug, you can do 12 or 16 amps, I think. So we're just going to leave it at 12. All right, so I think we're ready. All right, so the Tesla is at 71%. So we can click on that. There we go. So it looks like we've got 195 miles right now. And uh, so let's plug it in and let it charge up and see what, what we get to. Okay, so we got it plugged in. Let's go look inside and see if the right stuff's happening. Yeah, cool. So there we go. It says we're charging at 11, 12 amps. We'll see where this gets us. And we can see on the inverter we're pulling 14 about 1400 watts out of the inverter okay cool we're getting like 200 270 285 watts it's not super sunny right now that's a 435 watt panel up there we're kind of overcast and let's take a look at the battery app 
and uh, we are pulling over 100 amps out of it. So we're gonna watch the state of charge on this guy. All right, guys, let's check our stats on stuff right now. See what we got here. Okay, we're about 54% state of charge on the battery. We got uh, 1187 watts coming out of the battery. 350 watts coming in from the solar. All right, so I'll come back in a little bit. Okay, so an update. We're at 36% left on the battery, but we've had a little issue. The uh, owner of the Tesla checked his app. He said it's, it's not showing any charge. It's actually gone down to 70% from 71%. And I said, that doesn't make any sense. And then he says, there's a feature that turns the AC on if it's hot. <laughs> so the AC has been running in the car, burning up all the power that we've been putting into it. <laughs> oh boy. So I guess uh, we're gonna let it continue to run. I think he might have turned those things off. So we'll see if we put anything in and I'll be back. We are down to almost 0%, 0 percent, 0 0.05 on the battery. All right, we're at 0 percent. So it's still, still slightly going, but I think we're gonna go ahead and turn it off. All right, we turn the inverter off. We actually should see the solar starting to charge some. And we are, we got like, 270 watts coming in from the solar so it'll start to charge my battery back up all right so let's look inside the tesla here and so we're at 72 percent so uh, basically if the ac wasn't on while we were charging we would have gone from 71 percent to i'm guessing about 74 percent because when we found out that the AC was using power and we were draining power instead of charging I think we were at around a third of the battery state of charge so we should have got to uh, 74 percent but that's a learning experience I've never charged one of these cars I didn't even know the AC comes on by itself when it's hot outside which is a pretty neat feature. Anyways, I think that's gonna be the end of the video, guys. Please leave a comment. Let me know what your thoughts on this experiment is. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.